So imagine you're browsing, you need to use your password manager, and when you click on it, it says you've been logged out, so you quickly log in again. But whoops, that is how your password manager could get hacked and all of your passwords leaked. Wait, what? You might ask, how can that happen? Well, with a little thing called polymorphic extensions. You see, extensions are a visual feature in your Chrome or in your browser session, and anyone can change an extension icon. And really, when you think about it, how do you know that that an extension is your password manager because it looks like it, right? So for example, this is what 1Password looks like over here. This is what Google Docs looks like. This is what uBlock Origin looks like. But let's say you install a malicious extension and we'll talk a little bit about how this can happen. Maybe you wanted this new AI tool and you install it. And when you install it, it looks like a different extension, but secretly in the background, it removes your password manager or it just hides it and then changes its icon over to your password manager. So now when you click on what you think is your password manager, you're actually clicking on this malicious extension that you just installed. And then it's going to give you the same prompt as your password manager. But of course, it's not actually your password manager, it just looks like it. But the data you type in there is now going to the info stealer, the hackers, the attackers, and they now have the password to your password manager. Bingo, lottery, jackpot. And this is really scary because most password managers as security feature require you to log back in when your browser is restarted. So it's quite normal for you to go into a new browser session and log in with your password manager. And if suddenly a malicious extension were to remove your password manager, replace it with an identical copy, you wouldn't really know. It's like the ship of Theseus. Would you be able to tell that something has changed? Probably not. Now, how can this happen? Well, you could have an AI marketing tool as an example, advertised on Instagram or some social media platform. You're like, hey, let me check out this uh, new extension. What's the worst that could happen? You install it, it shows up in the toolbar, your extension section, and then in the background, it quietly removes your password manager and then changes its own logo. Now for that, it would need the Chrome dot management or the privileges. But even if it doesn't have that, all it really needs to do, especially if you have your password manager pinned, which most people do, is simply unpin it. So you're not really going to see it in the toolbar. And instead you're going to see this new malicious version. And unless you happen to be lucky enough to click on all your extensions to see, oh wait, there's two password managers now, what's going on? you're not really going to notice anything has changed. And again, by the time you figure that out, it might be too late if you've already clicked on the wrong extension and submitted your password. Now, of course, in the example, we're looking at one password, but in theory, this could be anything. This could be Bitwarden. This could be any password manager, because remember, it doesn't matter what your password manager is, whatever security you have there, all it has to do is visually mimic whatever your password manager looks like, which is not hard to do. So this is a very serious, safety risk of installing a potentially malicious extension. So I guess the lesson is be super careful about the extensions that you install. It's a bigger threat than you realize. I think a lot of people realize the threat from running an application from Discord, accidentally running ransomware or info stealers. But a lot of people don't see the danger in installing a new browser extension, probably because they think, well, it's not an independent program. It's just part of the browser. What can it do? But now, as you can tell, it can do pretty much the worst possible thing, which is get all of your accounts throughout the entire internet hacked immediately by simply stealing the credentials to your password manager. In order to prevent you finding out what would happen in the next step would be for the malicious extension to revert to its original appearance. And then it can simply restore your original password manager. So you think nothing has happened, but of course that gives the attackers time to take your password manager's password and try to log in, get access to all of your accounts before you figure out anything's wrong. Now, interestingly, at the moment, there are no mitigations to this. No steps have been taken by any browsers to stop this from happening. And in some sense, you can say this is not really a security vulnerability. It's just about tricking the user visually. And I think we're gonna see a massive rise in attacks like this. And by that, I mean attacks that leverage the way things look in a UI, the way an email is formatted, the kind of things that we're used to expecting and looking for to trick us into making the mistake of logging in or providing our credentials. It's kind of like an extension of phishing. 
but it's more baked into the system itself. It's like some unholy combination of social engineering and malware. So I want you to be super careful about any extensions that you install. Yeah, this could be an attack that really gets a lot of people into trouble. It's theoretical at the moment, but it just takes that one viral malicious extension, a few social media ads, a few Google ads and searches, and uh, yeah, big trouble. So do like and share this video if you found it helpful. Keep yourself secure. Now, speaking of staying secure, today's sponsor is ThreatLocker, an interesting zero trust solution. Now we did a full test of this, which you can watch using the link in description. That was a totally independent test, but they also wanted to sponsor some of our educational videos just to show you how it all works. So they have this system called ring fencing, which prevents malware from doing certain actions on your system. So for example, your PDF reader can't reach out to the internet or a ransomware application can't and access your documents. It's all based on access control and restrictions. It works based on whitelisting, only allowing trusted applications to execute, and comes with its own online console where you can analyze any suspicious behaviors or look at new files that you might want to allow to execute or do something sketchy. It's a really interesting solution for enterprises that want to control what's being executed on their endpoints. And like I said, we've done extensive testing on it in the last year. So if you want to watch that, you can check it out. So show them some love for support our content and just check out their platform using link in description. You can get a trial and see how it works yourself. It's a different approach to your standard EDR or antivirus. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.